Hi there, Tech Adventures, Anna here, your tech her. And today we're exploring the key difference between Linux and Windows file systems. I'll use Ubuntu on VirtualBox for Linux and Windows 10 on my PC. But don't worry if you have a different OS, the main concepts are gonna be the same. Grab some coffee and your favorite snack because we're about to dig in. All right, so let's start with the basics. When you're using Linux, everything begins at the root directory. It's the top of the hierarchy, the grandparent of all the directories. See the slash sign here? Now compare this to Windows. You've got different drives like C, D, and external drives like E, for example. Here's my C drive where the operating system is installed. Then I have additional D drive and look, I also have two external drives, G and T. <laughs> Please don't judge. My C drive is always running out of space. And yes, I use all those drives on a regular basis. Uh, anyways, you might also notice a folder called this PC, but it's not a part of the actual drives. In Linux, there is no this PC. Everything your home directory, external drives, and even connected devices like USBs are integrated under the single unified system. For example, external devices are mounted under directories like media or mouse. This makes the structure feel more organized, right? Here we have mount, but I don't have anything in there, so there's nothing to show, sorry. But I have my USB connected right now and we can find it in the media directory. So check it out. If we list what we have in my media, slash Anna directory, we can find my USB right here. And this is my USB, I named it FAT32 for some reason. You probably already know what it looks like when you plug in USB in your Windows PC, but I will still demonstrate for comparison. Here on the left side, you can't see my USB right now because we are bypassing Windows and going directly to the VM, but if I unplug it, here is my fat USB on the left side. I should really rename it into something nicer, like a good looking 32. What do you think about this name? And if you're still watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment below. Do you have any jokes for me that I can use in my next video? Now back to the PC. We already discussed this, but do you see how we have all the shortcuts under my PC for easy access in desktop? Linux, you can find it under your home directory. So let's look at what do we have under my home slash Anna directory. See, we have the same directories like we have on Windows. Uh, look, we have a desktop, downloads, music, pictures, and videos. There are additional directories that we don't see in Windows like templates and snap. I think I created the rest of them myself. I don't think I have anything in templates right now, but snap usually stores user-specific configuration files and applications data. Let's take a quick peek inside. Okay, uh, we are in our root directory, I think so. We just list all the files in our snap directory and see. I have a packages for Firefox, for example. There could be other packages for Spotify or VLC, but let's move on from that. Uh, so if we had to the desk folder in my Windows and go to the properties of this file, for example, you see the path we have disk C users, then the name, and then the desktop. So Windows keeps your personal files and system files under the same drive like DC. But here, if we go to our local disk C, we can find our Windows and programs files here. In Windows, accidentally deleting something from C drive, Windows folder, it can ruin your entire day. Now let's see where the Linux keeps its system files. For example, in Linux, bin holds essential command line tools like ls, cp, and remove. Let's take a peek inside. Okay, let's try to find one of this in here. Uh, la 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 la, here is our ls tool and we can just pretend that we found the rest of them. So without these tools, you'd be staring at a pretty useless terminal. Think of it as the must-have apps that come pre-installed on your phone. Windows has something similar under the Windows System 32 folder. And 
let me show you let's head to this folder for windows the system level executables live in this folder so we can also try to find one of the commands here mm, what command do i know like where for example um, let's search for it and here it is the executable file for this command under the root we can also find boot directory do you want to know what boot is let's head into a boot first and let's see what's inside this is where linux stores everything it needs to boot up like the kernel and bootloader configuration you really don't want to mess with this directory unless you know exactly what you are doing so see this config files contain the kernel configuration grub is for the grub bootloader this is what's loading your system at the startup Look, we also have a system maps that map memory addresses to kernel function and variables. In Windows, the equivalent would be your boot folder. The big difference in Linux, you're more likely to explore and tweak these files if you know what you're doing. Windows keeps most system files hidden by default. But what's good about Linux is that it keeps personal files completely separate. So it's harder to mess up the system while tinkering in your whole directory. Under the root, we also got the dev directory. And let's look inside the dev directory. These are not your everyday files. They're special device files. For example, your hard drive, USB drives, and even your webcam all have their entries right here. See under the dev input, we can find files associated with our mouse. Compare that to Windows, where devices are managed through the device manager and assign drive letters. Here you see if we open our device manager, we can find mice and other pointing devices. In Linux, everything is seamlessly integrated into the file system, making it feel like one giant. There are other folders here under the root directory, but I think we can wrap up for today. I have a lot of jokes, but there you have it. A side-by-side -side comparison of Linux and Windows file systems. Each system has its benefits, but Linux unified structure and clear separation of personal and system files makes it uh, more favorable for developers and tech enthusiasts like ourselves. Let me know in the comments, which system do you think is easier to navigate, Linux or Windows? Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you found it helpful. Until next time, happy exploring. Bye.